Hi everybody, I'm Rose and this is Mama Rosie's Corner. I know I haven't seen you guys in a few weeks and I'm sorry. As usual, life has been complicated and my body's been giving me difficulty. So, on that note, I want to talk to everybody this week about making long-term commitments. Now, I don't want to talk with you about your relationships. I, I know those get complicated and those are a whole different breed. I want to talk with you about commitments to yourself because a lot of times we start them up and then we don't finish them. Long-term commitments are really difficult and when you're trying to change your lifestyle, it is not a short-term thing. It is something that needs to happen all the time every day. It has to become a way of living, not just, hey, I'm on a diet. So when I started Weight Watchers, this was the biggest message I had to accept, was that going on a diet, it's a temporary state of being. There's nothing long-term about that. You know, for some people, they only have to lose 5 or 10 pounds, 20 pounds, maybe even up to, you know, 25, 30 pounds, and you can call that a diet. You go, you find a quick way to take some weight off, you start exercising, you change your lifestyle for a little while, you lose your weight, and then everything goes back to normal. My normal is not normal. I am an overeater. I am always going to be an overeater. No matter how much weight I lose, there is always the risk that I will gain the weight back because I am a fat girl in my head, and I know that. It's taken some time to accept it. I mean, who wants to admit that they think that way? Um, it kind of sucks, but by accepting it, I can move on and get on to the next thing. And the next thing is, I have to change my lifestyle, my whole way of being has to be different. I started this journey, as most of you know, in January of 2016. And it's been a year and a half. Two weeks ago, I received my 75 pound charm from Weight Watchers. It was a very big deal. Everyone there was wonderful. They made me feel awesome. But since then, getting to the next goal has been complicated. Uh, it's been raining here. Um, and my body doesn't like that. My fibro doesn't appreciate that. My arthritis doesn't. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people can relate. I live with chronic pain. And anybody that lives with chronic pain knows what this is like. On top of the chronic pain, I suffer with chronic fatigue. These are things I really can't control. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, working on the lifestyle, losing weight, it makes a difference, but it's not going to make the stuff go away. So... I have to go in this with a certain amount of acceptance that I'm never going to be completely normal. I may not be able to do things like other people. In the past, that stuff kind of deterred me. It stopped me. It made me want to quit. So the, one of the first thing hurdles, one of the first big hurdles, thank you, that I had to get over was this fear that anything I tried, I was going to fail at. You know, well... You have to go in at accepting what your limitations are. And I really do believe that you can't, there are certain things you cannot control and there are certain limitations you can't do anything about. Okay, my fibro limits me. And sometimes that really gets to me. So making a long-term commitment, I had to go in at accepting this is going to be a boulder. This is going to be a boulder that's in my way, on the regular, all the time, every day. It's not going away. But it caught me these past two weeks. I hit that 70, 75 pounds and I thought, wow, I, I got this. You know, no problem. I'm going to get up every day. I'm going to work out. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm working my way through my pain and I can handle anything. And then I got kabonked. Yesterday, I spent the day in bed. Now, for some people, that's okay. Everybody has days like that. But this was a really big deal for me because I've been fighting with this pain and fighting with this pain. And finally, yesterday, I just said, I can't do it. I need a day. And I literally laid in bed and colored all day. I colored an elephant. Helped me stay in a decent state of mind. In the meantime... I got up this morning and the first thing that hit me was, oh my God, I spent all day in bed 
and I ate so much food and I didn't move. And oh my God, I did all the things that I used to do. And maybe I should give up. No. And that's why I'm here. It's been a few weeks and I haven't done a video. And I kept thinking, oh, maybe I should give up. But I can't. I've made a long-term commitment, not just to Weight Watchers or to myself uh, in, in, a, in, you know, in the way of, of, of making myself a healthier person, but also I've learned to set goals. I've changed my lifestyle. I don't lay in bed all day anymore. You know, I get up and do things. I find ways to occupy myself. I, I pick up new hobbies. This is how I've been fighting back. I'm not giving up. I made a long-term commitment, and that means that every time that boulder gets in my way, I'm going to have to find a way to pick myself back up. So here I am. I'm in my workout digs. I'm getting ready to go back out there and walk some more because, really, over the past few weeks, I have not walked the way I've wanted to, and it's time to pick up the pace and get my body moving the bad times are going to happen. But when you're working on long-term commitment, you have to recognize that there's going to be issues. There's going to be boulders. There's going to be times when you want to give up. There's going to be times when you feel like the fight is completely out of you. Those are the times when you really got to pick up the pieces and get back at it. So don't give up. Long-term commitments mean long-term complications, too. And you got to work your way through those. Keep fighting. I'm still fighting every day of my life because I don't want that weight back. And I don't want the diabetes back. And I don't want the extra blood pressure pill back. I'm not going to give up. I'm in it for the long haul. Get in it for the long haul. Have a good day. This is Rose and this is Mama Rosie's Corner.